Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, Joshua, Judges, Ruth, First and Second Samuel, First and Second Kings, First and Second Chronicles, Ezra, Nehemiah, Esther, Joel, Song, Proverbs, Ecclesiastes, Song of Solomon, Isaiah, Jeremiah, Lamentations, Ezekiel, Daniel, Hosea, Joel, Amos, Obadiah, Jonah, Micah, Nahum, Habakkuk, Zephaniah, Haggai, Zechariah, Malachi. The Old Testament laid a strong foundation, but the New Testament is going to save our nation. 66 books, learn the word, share with others who haven't heard. 66 books going to save you and me, but you got to learn the B-I-B-L-E. 66 books in the Bible, once you learn them, you're going to be liable. Spread the news across the nation, get the truth and the revelation. 66 books going to save you and me, but you got to learn the B-I-B-L-E. 66 books, spread the news, New Testament. Hello and welcome to another episode of Gospel Advice. I know you've been listening to the song and practicing your six six books of the Bible, but we'll get back to that a little bit later. Welcome to Gospel Advice. I'm your host, Fitz Houston. And as always, we've got a great show lined up for you today. Today, another episode of Greatest Hits of Gospel Rap. But we have a little surprise lined up for you today in between, rather than interviewing a specific guest, we have a group of young ladies who are here from Florida. Remember, I've been inviting you people to contact me, come on the show, tell me what you're doing. Florida's been kicking butt now. I gotta take a minute. You know, I, I, all my submissions so far have been from Florida. Excuse me, what are the other 59 states doing? 59 states, I say 59. What are the other 49 states doing? So you got me so upset, I'm miscounting the states. Look, the point is, if you have a music video, an artist, you represent an artist, if you've got a music video, a performance that you wanna have air on Gospel Vibes, Email me, let me know what you've got, send it to me, and we'll get you on the show. That simple. But first of all, before we go any further, let's start with prayer. Father God, thank you so much for this show, Lord. Bless the guests who came out from Florida, Lord. Bless the crew, and bless everyone watching this show, Lord, for we know it's no accident they turned to this show at this appointed time that they may be blessed by the music and the interviews they're about to hear in Jesus' name. Amen. And right now, before we get to our special guest on the interview, Let's check out one of my favorite videos from the Holy Ghost Warrior. Enjoy. Uh, I push it down. Yeah, I'm finna clown. It's only cracking. Uh, yeah, let's get it started. Hey, uh, uh, come on with me. I'm uh, putting it down like a number one toast in the chamber. Uh, uh, come on with me. I'm putting it down. Cause I'm a holy brother. Hey, come on with me. Come on with me. I'm putting it down like a number one toast. Another level, nobody is mad, but that player hate devil. He seeks to destroy 
everybody So we gotta kick him in his mouth like karate A G put it down on your set like got it I told you from the jump home, boy, you can't stop me I'm a gospel gangster, I'm a G-O-G I'm a S-Y-G, I'm a C-O-C I'm like T-Bone, another O-G Holy Ghost playing, put it down, G Now, for those of you who've been watching Gospel Vibes over the past years, this episode is going to be a little bit different because instead of me interviewing the specific artists performing, I have some guests who deal with gospel rap artists in various ways. Now, let me introduce me to my guests today. We have Jennifer Repress and Alicia Simon. Yes. And Tamara Roberts. Yes. All from Florida. I told them they called the Florida Reds because I'm, oh no, they're not, don't worry, they're not a singing group. They, <laughs> welcome, ladies, to the show. Thank you. Thank you. Now, the reason I'm glad you were in town is because uh, you and I know a gospel rap artist, Ballistic. Yes. And uh, uh, who I'm having on the show is very near future. But something he was sharing with me that I didn't really realize when I actually was putting on the gospel rap greatest hits was the plight of the gospel rap artist in terms of, he was saying, well, a lot of the gospel rap artists are thinking about going back to secular rapping because they're getting old love from the gospel world, so to speak. So can you tell me something about that struggle that they're dealing with? Well, right now, uh, Ballistic and I, we've been speaking in reference to the Gospel Rap Alliance. And basically what we're trying to do is we're trying to get those uh, prisoners, those Christians that have been converted from the streets, mm -hmm. walking around, they're attending church, they're trying to fit in, but they're finding nowhere to fit in. Mm -hmm. And the problem is, is that they're expressing themselves differently from what the traditional gospel singers and songwriters pr express themselves. So what we're trying to do, we're letting them know that you don't have to express yourself only by just singing traditional songs. Mm -hmm. There's also a way to uh, express yourself through rap. And a lot of them are able to relate to the rap. Mm -hmm. So we we have an alliance all the way from California, via uh, Texas, via Mississippi, right. via Atlanta, Georgia, and of course, Fort Myers, Florida itself, where us three young ladies are from. Mm -hmm. So we're just trying to make that connection with all of those that's out there having the struggle and don't know where to break through. Mm -hmm. And we want to be that avenue to break through and even have them back here on your set one day. Well, that's great because, th you know, I'm glad you mentioned that about a uh, testimony with the prison ministry, yes. so to speak, because we had, uh, those of you who watched the show, uh, we had a young man named uh, the Young Prodigal. Yes. And another one, mm -hmm. Holy Ghost Warrior, and both their testimonies where about one uh, had a prison sentence dropped miraculously. Yes. And he was, he was told he's going to be there for life, and all of a sudden they found evidence that he wasn't even supposed to be there. God right. is and he's, yes, <laughs> and he's now yes. the Holy Ghost warrior. Yes, uh, yes. Young yes. prodigal, similar, he was asked to write a rap song for a play while he was in prison, mm -hmm. and he said, well, I'll just write something down. He didn't, know what he, was, he didn't think he knew what he was doing. God knew what he was doing. Exactly. But he wrote yeah. the rap. It ended up being a hit song in the play, mm. and then he's been writing gospel rap ever since. Mm -hmm. And so that's true in terms of Everybody has a testimony, and yes, especially sometimes yes. when they're in prison, they think that they have nothing to say. Yes. Exactly. But yes. that's what the, what the strength is. Well, that's, they're, they're absolutely wrong, Fitz. Uh, the world definitely wants to hear them. God definitely wants them to be heard. Mm -hmm. And not only that, we're also targeting the teens mm -hmm. because the streets are, are, are tugging. The environment, the world, yeah. they're tugging at our teens. Yeah. And so yeah. we need to be more aware and better alert on how to cope with this. Mm -hmm. And so we can't let our teens run away because we're telling them don't listen to rap. But maybe if they can rap it out, mm -hmm. you know, instead of walking it out like the world would do wrap it out you know <laughs> and, right. and, and, no, you're right. and sing to you know one another even the world and let them know hey this is what I'm feeling this is how I feel about the Lord it's not just a la 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 mm -hmm. well the teens as we know they, they have yes. a gift to remember things yes in rap form faster yes. than anything yes. I, I remember yes. I have I teach in the schools and, and 
a kid will have trouble remembering 20 spelling words, mm -hmm. yet he'll remember a rap song like yeah. that. Exactly. Which means there's something magical with music, yeah. the beat, and learning. If they can learn a rap song, that means maybe we should put all the, yeah. the schoolwork in the rap. Yeah. <laughs> That's why 66 Books of the Bible yeah. is a rap song to help you learn the 66 Books of the Bible. <laughs> Never mind, we'll get back to that. Yes. No, I had to throw that in. Uh, <laughs> now tell me about uh, Alicia. Uh, no, no, what do you do and with the group? Well, with the group, well, actually what me, Jennifer, and, um, and Tamara do, Actually, we actually manage a group called Sons of God, okay. mm -hmm. and there are three awesome men of God. Yes, yes. And I mean, and each one of them have a testimony. Yeah. I mean, they can minister to as far as into the young children, because I mean, they've been on the street. Mm -hmm. and I mean, and they and and they express themselves through their rap, okay. through the rap music. And so I mean, so and um, I mean, some of the things we do, like we manage them, we do marketing, we do a lot of things. For them, so basically, me and Jennifer and, and Tamara, we're their managers. No, they are they te teens or young adults? Oh, young, um, young adults. They're young they adults, adults that age, ranging from the age of 22 to 29. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 29. That's a good age range because they're closest to the teens. Yes, yes. Because yes. a lot of times we try to tell them something yes. and they say, "Well, yeah, that was back when you were there." Right. Excuse me, we're not that old, but they, that's what <laughs> they think. But somebody in the yes. 20s. Yes, and they're, they're, yeah, and, and they're all in their 20s. And not on that rap is not going anywhere. Mm -hmm. it's, it's not, not going in. The I remember when world, they thought it was going to be short lived. Yeah, remember right. when it first came out back in the days when it was more right. poetic? And they right. said, oh, it's going to be gone right. in a couple of years. And that was what, 15, 20 right. years ago now. Yes. <laughs> exactly. It's evolving. Yes. It's evolving, yeah. And yeah. I mean, rap is not going anywhere. And, and the, I mean, the group that we manage, they're, they're going into churches, they're going into. Um, youth activities. They're going to. I mean, they're touching it. The, they're actually touching yes. the youth. Mm -hmm. and the I mean, adults they're, well. I mean, and touching the youth as well as the adults. Well, uh, make a key point on that. When I did the first gospel rap greatest hits, I was in a studio where two of the crew were teenagers, mm -hmm. and I said, I says, I they heard me introduce, introduce the show, and this uh, video started, and said, gospel rap. What's gospel rap? Mm -hmm. That's what they were, and they didn't know, and they listened to. It, they said. Wait a minute, this is jamming just like the regular uh, rap. <laughs> I said, yeah, I like that, huh? It only has a message. And they didn't know it even existed. So this is two young men. They're both 16 and 18 years old. Mm -hmm. And I had never thought of them not even being aware of its existence, period. Mm -hmm. I mean, I knew that uh, I thought everybody at least knew it existed. Right. So that means there's a lot of fertile ground out there. Yes. Yes. for them to reach. Well, you have the internet and MySpace and everything. Mm -hmm. yes. And even your um, Gospel Vibe television internet site. Mm -hmm. Your site is wonderful. We went on there, we visited. It was great, yeah. beneficial. And you know, as soon as we told our rap group, they were like, yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. we want to be on there. We want to be heard. Yeah. They were excited about it. And you're making the way, you know, for a lot of different people. So we, we want to thank you first no, of all. No, I thank you because it's <laughs> funny, my first two years of the show, I couldn't find a gospel rap artist. Yeah, I wow. said, now, I know they're out there. <laughs> yes. And, yes. But I didn't, I, being I'm more jazz, mm -hmm. I didn't naturally know any rappers, right? right? And I think I, Prophet X was one of the first rap artists, and I met him at a festival. Yes. And he had his, his partner was, and the two of them referred me to somebody else, and it just kind of started branching yes. out. And yeah, I met Ballistic, and he's got like hundreds. Yes, <laughs> yes. So I said, oh, well, I think I might have uh, more and more go gospel rap greatest yeah. hits now because I've had a lot of singers. I haven't had that many instrumentalists, but I have a lot of singers, so I wanted to balance it out in terms of letting the young people know that I've had rappers of all age. One person was 16 years old. He had a message. Mm -hmm. And so don't think you have to be uh, a prisoner only. I mean, you, if you've got a story to tell, whatever your testimony is, right. is yes. what yes. you can yes. rap about because yes. somebody's going through the same thing. Exactly. Tell me, I know you're trying to be quiet. <laughs> What's up? Tell me about yourself. Well, I'm in charge of public relations and marketing, and we just want to make sure that we're reaching everyone. Yes. We're not trying to leave anyone out. Mm -hmm. And like Alicia said earlier, rap isn't going anywhere. Anyway. And if this is a way to regain our youth mm -hmm. and teach them the way that they should go, then this is what we want to do. So you're actually seeking more and more artists yes. locally oh, to yes. I mean, your we have them group? We have them lined up. We have yeah. definitely one group now. We have two or three individuals mm -hmm. we're thinking about. Um, they should have been here today, mm -hmm. you know, but a couple of things hindered them. But mm -hmm. nevertheless, yeah. um, we're looking forward to bringing them as well as our rap yeah. group back out in the near future. Yeah. So we will be visiting Los Angeles, California oh, well, uh, more <laughs> often. Pleasure, because yes. uh, maybe the other yes. 49 states <laughs> might get a hint about that. Oh, uh, yes, yes, <laughs> most definitely. Well, look, ladies, I want to thank you so much for being on the show, because uh, I've been making an invitation every show yes. to come on and uh, 
share what the gift is, and especially here because you're, in, you're dealing with an area that I'm witnessing more and more in church yes. right. that mm -hmm. the young yeah. people need mm -hmm. because we can talk to them so many ways right. and it'll just go in one ear, yeah. out the other, and somebody else will come with a rap song with a message and they're like re living by it and that exactly. says, okay, we got to pay attention to that. Exactly. Exactly. As a matter of fact, my testimony about rap was my son used to learn rap like that. Mm -hmm. I said, man, you need to stop listening to that rap. Rap is evil. Rap is this. Yes. So what does yes. the Lord give me? Three Christian rap songs to write. <laughs> my next three songs were six, six books of the Bible. Okay. Revelations and nobody does like Jesus. I said, okay, Lord, okay, it's not rap this bad. It's what you're saying. And so yes, he, exactly. he corrected me yeah. real quick yeah, on that. Exactly. And that's what my revelation was about it. Mm -hmm. And that's what they understand. Wait a minute. They, they have some very serious messages yes. in these raps if we stop to listen to them. Yes. Exactly. So thank you so much, Jennifer and Alicia you and Tamara. Thank you. Thank you. Thank and you. Uh, we've been enjoying young ladies from Florida, Fort Myers. Yes. Fort Myers, Florida. Mm -hmm. And remember, any of you watching the show, if you are representing an artist, uh, you are an artist, or you have a music video, like I said earlier, you're a songwriter, or whatever it is you want to share on Gospel Vibes, email me at the address you see at the end of the show. We'll have you on the show. And even if you think you know six, six books of the Bible really well, <laughs> you can come on and do that with me. If you're bad enough, you can do it by yourself. I don't think you're bad enough. <laughs> Challenge. But anyway, <laughs> no, no, really. If you think you're bad enough, just email me, and we'll have you on the show. So enjoy the next two videos, and I'll be seeing you shortly. God bless. This song I want to call Holy Bible. This song is, is very encouraging. It, 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 it helps for us. It, it help, helps build me up. Because every time I go through trials and tribulation, I know that the word of God is, our, is my answer. Amen. Seek Christ through his word. I'm, I'm pretty some of y'all familiar with this. So you get up out your hands, put your, claim, put your hands together for Jesus Christ. Holy Bible. Holy Bible. Holy, holy.
for me, no wrist nail on the tree. Jesus is the only savior that I know can set me free. Yes, I understand trust in the world of man. As long as I am on this land, I am gonna make a stand. One Christ, one Lord, one word, one faith, one hope, one world, one heaven, one grace, one land, one blood, one chin, one cross, one son, one father, one faith, one cost, one church, one body, one flesh, one beer, one Bible, one beer. Ain't no fear in what we do, we get up to get down. We don't run for none, so we take it where we come we're from. We're gonna take it to the streets where we come from. We're gonna take it to the streets where we come from. I take it back to the streets where we come from. Helicopter in the night, homie running from the gun. gun. Homie at the bar, they sipping Bacardi. They're talking on the weed and I'm preaching a seed. Preaching at the youngsters are just wasting time. It reminds me of a life dedicated to crime. Orders from the homies calling up the shots. This crazy simple life isn't ever gonna stop. High power running game, would I ever regret? Killing off our own people, would I ever forget? Preaching on the corner, got the mic full blast. Drug addict to my right, living life too fast. We're dropping the flyers as the homies cruise by. Another homie got shot, shot another shot, homie shot. died. I'm not pulling out till it's said and done. And I'm a sold out Christian living life as it comes. Ain't no fear of what we do, we get up to get down. We don't run for nothing. So we take it where we come from, this is where we come from, we do what we do, we got the love of Jesus Christ, so we bring it to you. We're gonna take it to the streets where we come from, we're gonna take it to the streets where we come from. Soldiers in the street and they're passing the flyer, yeah, the devil's trying to creep, you know he's a liar, see the Christ side riders riding up on the block, I got my soldiers on the corner representing the rock. Show. They just keep cruising by, maybe say hello Dope man in the street and he's making that money Scripture's coming from my mouth, flowing like milk and honey The vision's in my heart and it's gonna be done I got love for the streets where I come from Put the world up on his shoulder, Max, stop this what he did He let it be known, just like my brother said It's the big payback, my brothers want some more Let's all get down for 2004 This is an assignment and a dream from the sun So we take it to the streets where we come from no fear in what we do, we get up to get down. We don't run for none, so we take it where we come we're from. We're gonna take it to the streets where we come from. We're gonna take it to the streets where we come from. As we pull up in the war zone, I'm bringing the flow. The Holy Spirit of God is now penetrating souls. People hearing the music, the battle has begun. We're going to war, making every demon run. This is where we come from. We do what we do. We got the love of Jesus Christ.
say you're watching the show and you don't know who Jesus is that everyone's rapping about or the power of God moving in their life, the testimony we were talking about earlier in terms of just the importance of our young people reaching the young people who are lost. If you're watching this show and you find yourself constantly going through anxiety, road rage, uh, you just have no answers in life, you feel like your life's completely out of sync, that's a good sign that you might need Jesus coming to your life. So right now, you don't have to wait till Sunday. If you're watching the show right now, just drop down your knees or even just right where you are, just close your eyes and say, Jesus, come into my life right now. I believe that you died on the cross for me and my sins and was raised from the dead. Forgive me for the wrong I've done, for all that I've done from this point on, Lord. Just I, can, I, I commit to lifting my life up to you, Lord. And to not doing a single thing in life or making a single decision in life without lifting that up to you for guidance first. From this point on, in Jesus' name, amen. So listen, I want to thank you so much for tuning in to Gospel Vibes. And as always, that invitation is always open, 66 Books of the Bible. And I will see you next time on Gospel Vibes. God bless. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, Joshua, Judges, Ruth, 1st and 2nd Samuel, 1st and 2nd Kings, 1st and 2nd Chronicles, Ezra, Nehemiah, Esther, Joel, Song, Proverbs, Ecclesiastes, Song of Solomon, Isaiah, Jeremiah, Lamentations, Ezekiel, Daniel, Hosea, Joel, Amos, Obadiah, Jonah, Micah, Nahum, Habakkuk, Zephaniah, and guys like Ryan Malachi. The Old Testament laid a strong foundation, but the New Testament is going to save our nation. 66 books, learn the word, share with others who haven't heard. 66 books going to save you and me, but you got to learn the B-I-B-L-E. 66 books in the Bible, once you learn them, you're going to be Bible. Spread the news across the nation, and the truth and the revelation. 66 books going to save you and me, but you got to learn the B-I-B-L-E. 66 books, spread the news, New Testament. John Acts, Romans, 1st and 2nd Corinthians, Galatians, Ephesians, Philippians, Colossians, 1st and 2nd Thessalonians, 1st and 2nd Timothy, Titus, Philemon, Hebrews, James, 1st and 2nd Peter, 1st, 2nd, 3rd, books of John, then Jude, and Revelations. I'm telling you now, learn the word, share with others who haven't heard. 66 books to show your way, lead you to a brighter day.